स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज गाइगर मुल्लर काउंटर जीएम काउंटर सो फर्स्ट एज यूजल लेट अस सी द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ जीएम काउंटर राइट द जीएम काउंटर कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए सिलिंड्रिकल कॉपर ट्यूब ओके सी ए सिलिंड्रिकल कॉपर ट्यूब now next this copper tube is placed in a glass g okay this copper tube is placed in a glass g next a tungsten wire w tungsten a tungsten wire passes across this copper tube okay now next this tungsten wire is isolated from the glass tube okay now next this is connected to the high tension the positive terminal of high tension battery okay and the negative terminal is connected to the copper tube so tungsten wire act as anode or collecting electrode copper wire sorry copper tube acts as cathode now next at one end a mica window is provided right through this mica window only the ionizing particles or ionization particles passes through this mica window and this cylindrical tube is filled with the gas okay it is filled with the gas okay at a pressure of it is filled with gas at a pressure of 10 cm of mercury right now this gas is a mixture of this gas is a mixture of 90% argon and 10% ethyl alcohol right now this gas is a mixture of 90% argon and 10% ethyl alcohol now a high resistance r is connected in the battery circuit and the potential difference of this battery will be between 800 volts to 2000 volts it can be varied between 800 volts to 2000 volts now this tungsten wire further it is connected to the amplifier and then to the counter right this is all about the construction right hope you understood so the construction consists of cylindrical copper tube okay now a tungsten wire is connected across this copper tube and this arrangement is placed in a glass tube g right one end of the glass tube is provided with mica window through which this charged particles enters into the glass tube now between the copper tube and the tungsten wire a high tension battery is connected positive terminal is connected to the tungsten wire so it acts as anode negative terminal is connected to the copper tube so it acts as cathode and a high resistance r is connected in the battery circuit the tungsten wire in turn connected to the amplifier and then to the counter now next this copper tube is filled with the gas at the pressure of 
10 cm of mercury and this gas is a mixture of 90% argon and 10% ethyl alcohol right now next let us go for the working of gm counter okay let us go move to the working of gm counter uh, one thing i want to say that notes after this video notes will be provided okay at the end of this video the notes ppt will be there now let us move to the working of gm counter okay for now next so first now again i am drawing here the copper tube cathode right our tungsten wire okay right now mica window through which beta particles or charged particles enters now this consists of a gas of 90% argon plus 10% ethyl alcohol gas okay now these charged particles enters into the this chamber okay copper tube now what happens first charged particles enters into the copper tube right now these charged particles ionizes argon atoms okay or gas atoms here gas is nothing but argon this ionizes gas atoms so the positive and negative ions are formed okay the positive and negative ions in such a way are formed when the charged particles enter into the copper tube it ionizes the gas atoms okay the positive negative ions are formed now what happens now this tungsten wire is acting as anode because we connected the positive terminal of the battery so all electrons or the negative ions will attract towards this tungsten wire so now what happens negative ions move towards the tungsten wire right now positive ions now this copper is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so it acts as a cathode so now all these positive ions all these positive ions move towards copper tube or cathode which is acting as cathode moves towards copper tube right all electrons move towards this tungsten wire and all these positive ions move towards the copper tube okay now start increasing the voltage start increasing the applied voltage from 800 volt you go on increasing the voltage when you increase the voltage what happens the ions gains sufficient kinetic energy they gain sufficient kinetic energy now with this kinetic energy they go and collide with other gas argon atoms okay they go and collide with argon atoms now due to that collision what happens again ions are produced right again the ionization takes place or sorry 
now due to this kinetic energy they go and collide with other gas organ atoms now due to that what happens secondary electrons are emitted secondary electrons are emitted right now here up to here clear same like proportional counter only as usual charged particles enter into the copper tube they ionize they ionize the gas molecules the negative ions move towards the tungsten wire and produces ionization current produces ionization current and the positive ions move towards the cathode now as you go on increasing the applied voltage now they gain sufficient kinetic energy or kinetic energy of ions increases with this larger kinetic energy they go and collide with other organ atoms or other gas atoms due to that collisions secondary electrons are emitted okay now current goes on increasing now current goes on increasing current means what moving of the electrons towards this tungsten wire itself only and what is ionization current nothing but when negative ions moves towards the tungsten wire that creates ionization current now due to this secondary electron formation the current goes on increasing right now here here this current this current produced is not proportional to see not proportional to primary ions not proportional to primary ions produced by charged particles produced by charged particles okay this current which has increased by the emission of the secondary electrons is not proportional to the primary ions produced by the charged particles right now let us see what happens and now tungsten wire okay insulated okay first what is happening charged particles produces ions or ionize the gas atoms this we call it as primary ions now in that all the electrons or negative ions are attracted by this wire now positive ions are also there no now these positive ions mass is more than negative ion mass so compared to this negative ions this positive ions travel slowly compared to the negative ions as its mass is less very fast it is attracted by the tungsten wire but as positive ions mass is more slowly it travels towards the cathode copper tube towards the copper tube or cathode now slowly 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 it starts reaching towards the cathode okay at one particular position what happens means this is the tungsten wire no so around tungsten wire we find these positive ions only slowly they are traveling no so at one particular position around tungsten wire these positive ions are surrounded means now what happens electron or negative ion cannot reach the tungsten wire at this situation negative ion 
cannot reach the tungsten wire means here all these positive ions had form a sheet or we can call the shield around this wire okay now due to heavy mass positive ions travel slowly at one particular position they form a sheet or a shield around this tungsten wire right now negative electrons sorry negative ions cannot reach the tungsten wire due to this positive ions now due to this shield slowly the electric field depresses or decreases electric field starts depressing due to this shield formed due to positive ions so now at this situation for a moment or a short while for a moment or a short while current stops flowing for a short while now electric field depresses and for a short while current stops flowing right current stops flowing now in this way a current pulse of a very short interval so now a current pulse of a very short interval flows through our resistor r okay flows through our resistor r okay a current pulse for a moment the current stops flowing slowly now here a very short current pulse flows through the resistor r and creates a potential difference across resistor r now this pulse is sent to the amplifier and then to the counter okay now in such a way the counter starts counting these number of pulses thereby we can count we can understand how many charged particles have entered the counter right so here working listen carefully negative ions mass is less so very fastly they move towards the tungsten wire and produces ionization current right now in case of positive ion mass will be more so slowly they start coming towards this cathode that is copper tube which is acting as cathode at one particular position they surround this particular wire that is they form a sheet or shield around the wire due to this shield electric field started depressing now for a short while only for a short while current stops flowing so up to this only a short very short interval current has produced so that short interval pulse has sent the, to the resistor a potential difference is created across the resistor and that pulse is sent to the amplifier and then to the counter and the counter counts this number of pulses now after that again the gm counter works normally so in such a way for every particle it happens and this time where the current is stopping for a short while we call it as dead time we call it as dead time or paralysis time okay dead time or paralysis time and after this dead time again gm counter starts working normally so in such a way it counts the number of incoming particles 
Yeah, right? I think you are clear. Now the next important thing which you have to know is quenching. You have to know about is quenching. So now here we said here ninety percent argon, ten percent ethyl alcohol. is added as gas inside the gm counter then what is the purpose of this alcohol gas okay now let us know and now we said okay up to here right we got a pyrolysis type a short interval pulse is created now it passes through the resistor and every pulse is counted now this right but now here let us see what is happening now this is tungsten wire all negative ions are attracted with the tungsten wire now the positive ions what we said they move towards the copper tube right they move towards the copper tube now they started moving towards the copper tube now what happens <coughs> this positive ion when it reaches the copper tube what happen it collide with copper tube right it collide with copper tube now due to this collision electrons are emitted from the copper tube electrons are emitted from copper tube or copper atoms can i say electrons are emitted from the copper tube now these electrons which are emitted from the copper tube also passes towards the tungsten wire now see here two cases are taking place first one as usual when charged particles enters the gas it ionizes the gas produces the ions and negative ions passes towards the tungsten wire first thing we call that ions as primary ions produced due to the incoming charged particles second one second one what is happening when positive ion reaches the copper tube it collides with the copper tube due to that collision electrons are emitted and these electrons are also go towards the tungsten wire means here tungsten wire is receiving two kinds of negative charges one is the negative ions produced due to the incoming charged particles other is the electrons emitted by the collision of positive ions with the copper tube so now the gm counter confuses between these two pulses actually what is the intention of gm counter to count the pulse created due to the incoming charged particles but along that we are having this additional pulse also that is the electrons emitted by the collision of positive ions with the copper okay now gm counter confuses between these two pulses so now what is our intention we this pulse we call it as unwanted pulse okay now the main intention is that we have to remove these unwanted pulse 
removing this unwanted pulse we call it as quenching quenching is nothing self quenching also we will call quenching is nothing but removing the unwanted pulse created by the collision of positive ions with the copper tube or cathode so removing this unwanted pulse if we remove this unwanted pulse then gm counter will count only this negative ions produced due to the incoming charged particles by there we can count how many charged particles has entered into the gm counter then how to remove this unwanted pulse to remove this unwanted pulse only alcohol vapors are passed into the gm counter alcohol vapors are passed why we use alcohol vapors only why not other means alcohol is having low ionization potential why we use only alcohol means alcohol is having low ionization potential okay so now let us see what is happening here or how we are removing this unwanted pulse okay so first so first the argon ions as you shall the positive negative on their journey goes towards the cathode okay now the positive ion now this is the cathode here again i am drawing the cathode tungsten wire okay so now the positive ions on its journey passes to the cathode all right passes towards the cathode now when it is passing towards this cathode it just gets neutralized with the electron from alcohol molecule so now this positive ion towards its journey towards the cathode how will take an electron of alcohol molecule okay and it neutralizes positive negative when they combine it neutralizes so this positive ion argon ion acquires or takes the electron from the alcohol molecule and neutralizes itself now next what happens the alcohol ions the alcohol now when negative electron is captured or taken by this argon positive ion then the positive alcohol ion will be remained no i think you understood the concept here what is happening this is argon positive ion now what it is doing from alcohol it is accepting the or taking the electron and neutralizing now the positive alcohol ion where it goes as usual the positive alcohol ion goes to this particular cathode itself only because it is connected with the negative terminal of the battery now the positive alcohol ion it goes towards the cathode or reaches the cathode now when it collide with the cathode and electrons are emitted emitted and that electrons which we talked here okay which we are talking here these electrons are neutralized by this positive alcohol ion okay these electrons from the cathode are neutralized by positive alcohol ion so in such a way now as these electrons are neutralized by positive alcohol ions this as usual will not go towards because they are neutralized so it is in in such a way an unwanted pulse is 
removed so they cannot pass towards the tungsten because they are neutralized by positive alcohol ions okay and unwanted pulse is removed and only now the gm counter starts counting the ions produced due to the incoming charged carriers so this is about the quenching why quenching is required once i will say why quenching is required because here unwanted pulse is produced due to the emission of electrons by the collision of positive ions with cathode now alcohol vapors are sent now this positive argon ion accepts or it acquires an electron from the alcohol and become neutral now this positive alcohol ion reaches the cathode when it reaches the cathode the electrons emitted from the cathode cathode are neutralized by this positive alcohol ion so in such a way the unwanted pulse is removed and counter counts only this ions emitted by incoming charged particles right so this is about quenching i think clear about quenching now let us go for the characteristic curve so here the curve is drawn between the voltage and count per minute so the potential is 800 volts to 2000 volts we say so potential nearly up to 100 volts okay uh, so slowly up to some 1000 volts i will say the curve will be in such a way first i will draw the curve then i will explain the curve now here 1000 volts so here up to here means 0 to 1000 up to here we will not detect any current or we can say current pulses are very short are too small to be detected now at 1000 volts the we start observing this current pulses as voltage increases the current increases that here we are indicating okay as voltage increases the current increases at one particular voltage okay at one particular voltage we are seeing a flat portion not exactly flat we can say but a flat portion at one particular voltage now the curve we are finding a flat portion this flat portion we call it as plateau region and this voltage we call it as threshold voltage the voltage at which the flat portion starts the voltage at which the flat portion starts we call it as a threshold voltage now after certain voltage again this we loses the flat portion and we see the continuous discharge of ions we are finding now let us discuss about what is this plateau region now in this plateau region only gm counter works in this plateau region only gm counter works so what is happening here in this plateau region we will not have any unwanted pulse we are not having any unwanted pulse 
with the help of quenching we removed the unwanted pulse and here the counter is counting the ions produced due to the incoming charged particles the counter is counting the ions produced due to incoming charged particles now above this flat region when the voltage becomes very high now we loses this and again unwanted pulses and the continuous discharge of ions takes place and above this region there is maximum possibility of breaking down of gm counter maximum possibilities of breaking down of gm counter so depending upon this plateau region only we can understand how perfectly the gm counter is there okay so depending upon this plateau region we can estimate with the gm counter is perfect or not so in this region we will not have any unwanted pulses okay it counts only the ions produced by the charged particles in such a way the gm counter works hope gm counter became easier for you in understanding and now this is the ppt notes prepared along with this gm counter so that you may be able to write for your exams perfectly the laq which you may face in the exam so if you like my video share it subscribe it thank you for watching my videos yours reshma physics